Uh, David Hill here with HSPN Sports, and I'm in a uh, kind of a unique setting. <laughs> Usually you used to see me on the field, which is where I love to be, but I also love this too, and I get a chance to sit, uh, it being Thanksgiving, sit in the living room, okay, of the Ware Hudsons. And, and so we, we go back a long ways, don't we, Chance? And, Very much. And family, and, and with Keon, and we could go on and on and on about that forever, but I'm looking at my clock over here, and I know I've got only about a certain amount of time. But we are doing a thing with HSPN Sports that I like, we kind of call it inside the game. So there's a chance now that we don't have to necessarily have that discussion mm -hmm. after a game, a typical interview after a game, same old questions, same old. So we get a chance to sit in your living room, you're comfortable, Keon, you're comfortable, Kyron, and talk how you want to talk right. and, and get kind of inside your, your, your mind a little bit. Okay, let you uh, uh, elaborate on things a little bit. And with that, let, let's talk a little bit about a little bit about past present, future things, and, and, and as a football, really a true football family, as long as I've known you guys, I've known you to be everywhere together. Yeah. And so I can't imagine, I've seen you all over the country, <laughs> and I can't imagine what that, that means in terms of costs and flights and hotels and meals, especially these guys, because I know what meals are like. Right. right. So here's a real football family, everybody, that, that really does everything together, been on this journey together. And my, my biggest question, my first question out there is, you know, what has that been like as a youth athlete and youth athletes when did you know that these guys had potential to perhaps play at a high level at the high school level and, and going on to college as well too chance well they're two completely different paths as you can see two completely different body types yeah. uh two two different positions at at their high school that's level. a phenomenon in of itself we right. could have a discussion mm -hmm. on that too right <laughs> right yeah, uh, they, they both they both eat the same which is a lot but yeah. um uh, two different two different body types, um, and Keon in his early days, uh, Kyron was always a you know, wide receiver. He played basketball, mm -hmm. wide receiver, DB. Yeah. Uh, he would go back and forth every year from football to basketball, yeah. football to basketball. He'd take off a year of football, then play basketball, and then seven on seven would come around. He'd get really really excited and want to play football again. So it was literally he w it wasn't switching. He would take a year off of each. So um, and, and Keon, Keon played basketball also, um, uh, in, uh, including high school. But probably when I started noticing Keon, um, his growth probably in, in seventh grade. Uh, seventh grade is when he got he was getting pretty close to, to ta taller than I am, and um, go that seventh grade year, uh, he was playing linebacker and running back, and. Um, I guess uh, he was maybe 13, 13 at that time, and and at that point he just stretched. Okay. He stretched, okay. and he got to five eleven. He got to five eleven, probably uh, I think his seventh grade year, and I'm thinking that he's going to be uh, the next Derrick Henry, you know, because yeah. I'm watching yeah. a, lot, a lot of Derrick Henry highlights yeah. at that time, and I think that he's a long running back. He kind of was built. Him playing at Vista Marietta, a lot of people felt that he was uh, built. Like Sua as a seventh grader, Sua sure. Cravens. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Sua Cravens, phenomenal athlete, yeah. and um, and he was just really long. You know, he was long. Um, and then as the years goes, uh, eighth eighth grade, uh, we played uh, with the I Ducks, and his position changed from linebacker to defensive end. Um, I think he was going into his eighth grade year with the Ducks. He was about six. Six foot two, two hundred pounds is what we started the season at going into that season. Yeah, and by the end of that season, in Florida, in the national championships, we he weighed six, six one, two thirty. So he gained wow. thirty pounds in a football season, pretty much. And then from that point, it just <laughs> progressed from that point on. But I know he was going to be a big kid at that point. I want to talk about that progression process, and we'll go and cut to a commercial real quick here, and we'll come right back after you hear from the Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation. <laughs> 